Hi, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com, and we're going to take a look at the new Microsoft MyPhone beta. Now, this is a cloud service for backing up all sorts of data on your phone to the internet using your Live ID. So, over here, you see my uh, Windows Mobile phone. It's connected through Pocket Controller. This is the screen. And I've already signed in with my Live ID, and now I can check off all of the things that I want to sync. Now, uh, one thing you'll notice is if you have a Exchange account, any kind that, that you're syncing any kind of data with, Contact, Calendar, and Tasks will not sync with my phone. You have to completely remove your Exchange account settings in order to get those to sync. Even if all you're doing is using push email on the Exchange account, it won't back up Contacts, Calendar, or Tasks. That's a, I think that should be a bug, but anyway, I'm going to hit done, and then I'm going to hit sync, and now you see it, ooh, now we're syncing to the web. Over here is the web page, and you can see how much data I'm using right there, and over here is our contact, calendar, task, all this. So let's take a look at text messages first. Well, this is still syncing over here. So here we see all the text messages on my phone. I can just select them and it shows the location here. And I can see what it says right here, date and time it was sent. I can choose inbox, drafts, or sent messages and I can go through pages and pages of text messages. Uh, one cool thing is I can check off a bunch of them and then over here I can either delete them or archive them to the web. So that'll take them off of my phone and just store them in the web page, in the website. We we'll look at our photos. You can see that it synced all of the crappy icons that are installed by default. And up here you can upload or delete or play a slideshow. There's a manage menu where you can choose restore to phone or archi archive to web, which will remove it from the phone but leave it on here. So I'm going to upload one. If I click that correctly. Oh, well, look at that. It's over here. You gotta choose browse. And then let's go to pictures. How about that one? Upload. And over here, I'm still syncing, it's doing my tasks, and there's the picture. So when this finishes syncing, that picture should get uploaded to my phone. We've also got videos over here. I don't have any videos. Music. All your ringtones and whatnot are here. Documents, text files, and let's see if anything's synced yet. Okay, there we are. We have some contacts showing up. And we have pages of those. Here's our menu again. You can find duplicates, archive the web, restore the phone. It's a delete command. You can add new contacts. So there's our new contact. You can add a photo to the contact. That's pretty nice. All sorts of information for them. Tasks have uploaded a few. That's syncing well. You can create new ones, delete them, Find duplicates, all the same things. 
calendar has uploaded to. You can do new event. And that happens over here. But there's not much details you can add here. Just the uh, description, where, start and end date. Not, not too advanced. Not as Outlook-like as you might like it to be. Okay, so that's uh, everything for that's on my phone. Now we synced. Let's see if that picture shows up. Yep, there it is. Perfect. And right here we have our connected phones option. And I, you can see I have two phones connected. They both say Windows Mobile 6 Professional. And it's hard to identify which is which. You can select them and edit, but you can't put a name in it, you just have a phone number field here. Settings are very slim at this time. You change the time zone. There's also a deleted items area. Kind of like a recycle bin. So that's about it right now. Uh, it would be nice if you could reply to text messages through the web interface. That would be pretty cool, but it's not possible. And I don't see any way to export the text messages to like a offline backup, you know, text file or something like that. So, pretty good if you're a consumer and you don't want to plug your phone into Outlook or the USB port on your computer and you don't have an exchange account. Other than that, it's great for backing up text messages, which is not really possible elsewhere unless you get something like JO Mobile Companion. Um, hopefully we'll see more development developments with the uh, marks of my phone. That's it for now.